I think what's unique about this iteration of True Detective is that it's uh, women driven. Uh, it takes the male detective story and replaces it with, with two women. Uh, Jody Foster and Kaylee Reese are, are the two leads. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. You sicken me. If, like myself, you were deeply disappointed by True Detective Night Country, you turned your thoughts back to the past to reflect upon another similar story, but one that was actually more insightful and cleverly done with the film Wind River. A film that uses the neo-noir murder mystery genre nicely in a contemporary setting and that to me flew under the radar compared to all the other attention True Detective Night Country received later on. And it's a film that to me still holds up today. What I especially love about the movie is the way it handles the issue of violence against women, especially those from an indigenous culture, which was almost exactly what True Detective Night Country tried to do, but which completely boshed it with some bullshit murder mystery that made absolutely no sense. She's been hiding in those caves forever. Oh. And before she was born, Jesus. after we all die, time is a flat circle and we are all Stuck it in. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Here, Wind River uses a simple story about a horrific murder to tease out some deeply powerful and emotional scenes. Which brings me to talking about the actual murder itself, because from the very start, we immediately get a broader picture of what this means to the rest of the community, and not by focusing on the reactions of others, but just on the impact her death has had on her family, which subtly reflects the overall feeling others who live there also feel. We also get a genuinely interesting dynamic between an FBI agent and an experienced wildlife tracker with the former being aware of such cases but has yet to experience them firsthand. This means that she too has to undergo her own journey into realizing how impactful the death of someone loved affects the broader community around her while also being introduced to the stakes of what it all means in bringing justice to them while juggling a personal emotional roller coaster that follows as a result. Hey, look, um... I don't know how to do this, okay? I'm not a tracker. That's okay. That's all I do. Look, he asked me to help you, right? Yeah. We should go while I still can. Okay. Then we're also shown the other side of the positive influence of men who uphold the values of what it means to support and love the opposite sex, which is again something that I felt lacking and completely missing from True Detective Night Country. In the film Wind River, we see this through those who sacrifice themselves to protect the ones they love, and through those who learn to work with others despite their differences in how they operate, and ultimately who become the ones that save them from the horrors beyond the veil. Too often do I feel like that other films or shows like True Detective Night Country lean too much towards one side of the story while ignoring the other completely. They focus too greatly on the negatives while also neglecting how to weave a thrilling narrative that delivers on its interesting murder mystery premise. Thankfully, Wind River is an example where clever filmmaking still exists and it's a shining example of why the murder mystery genre can still be celebrated today. What? What cracker? Is she seeing a white guy? Do you know him? Do you know who he is? Do you know his name, Chip? Did you say it was? Why did you say it was? Why, why did she say it was? She just said what? Because I found her raped and killed right over there, son. That's why. No. 